Hey guys, and welcome back to Augustine Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Comedy Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitch here, we're on the Rock Full of Brains, a small cluster of asteroids out in the voids of space, where we have ourselves six duplicates, let's get ourselves back to the map, spread across two asteroids that we're trying to get into the future as comfortably as possible. To that end, last time we have started redesigning our oil biome over here, unfortunately letting a lot of chlorine out at the same time, but that's something we can do with but more importantly we've got ourselves an absolute mess of wirage that I want to deal with but we will get to that after I explain to you what my main aims for today's episode are the first one is to get this little air oil biome over here sorted I want to be able to turn the oil well back on and I want to get a nice selection of petroleum generators for serious power whenever we need it where's the atmosphere dock suit are we are we short of stuff is this, is this a problem is it is it in here yes but we don't have the reed fibers needed okay I, I need to also wrangle up some dracos it turns out that will be a thing we do but the main thing the main thing that i want to get to today is try and bust my way through this lava we now have access to the steam turbines where where is it it's around here somewhere I, i've not actually got one on this planetoid let's come over to pi and you can see it in action over here what is happening is this steam turbine is taking the hot steam underneath uh, when it reaches 200 degrees it'll take it in turn it into some power oh there we go you can see it working the steam is being sucked in power is being produced and then some cooler water is being thrown out it's about 90 degree water so it is still pretty hot uh, it then gets reheated and i think we could use that that system there to start tunneling our way up the side here we could do some crazy things if we get some insulated tiles here uh, make a a nice little way through like that i might make it double wide i, I think we will we'll, we'll go with this the door down as thermal control get a thermo sensor on the other side to control it at this point we are definitely going to be needing some oh depleted your no i don't know what temperature this melts at i really wanted some steel though uh and we we've got a bit of a problem with that if we come come down here we're, we're flooded out zero kilograms this side what, what have we got over here 140 that is, i mean i suppose that would be enough but just moving that tiny amount around is not the way forwards we should probably think about destroying this deconstructing this and then pumping the water <sighs> yeah we've got a problem with too much <laughs> i've got another problem that i have not hooked this system up look at this this is supposed to make sure that the toilets always have a little bit of water even if these two pools drain empty like they have but in classic fashion i seem to have forgotten little bits of the system that are you know quite important <laughs> might even end up completely emptying this pool and moving all my water over to this side it's just a little bit more manageable um, i mean it could be this side the bottom's a little bit flatter <laughs> okay that's fixed that oh mostly the bridge hasn't been put back in place but that's fine uh still no steel though maybe maybe we will need to just shuffle a few things across <laughs> But then once we have the temperature control system down in place, we can get some metal tiles. A couple of copper ones will do. I hope they won't melt. Uh, and then we literally just throw a steam turbine, which unfortunately, uh, you know, we were just talking about the refined metals issue that I've got. Uh, I can't put down here, but it would just fit in this space here. We'll drop lava down boil water steam turbine turns the water back into what well, the steam back into water and we get a little bit of um igneous rock out of here i'm not sure how we're going to remove the igneous rock that's that's going to be an issue but an issue that we can solve somehow Okay, a trick that I believe I've seen somewhere, and I can't remember the exact details, so I'm going to have to go look it up and find out. But if we put the lava inside a mesh tile, when it gets cooled down and turns into an item, the mesh tile doesn't like to hold items behind it. It's like, okay, where can I put it? And it should, should just squeeze it down into this gap over here. I believe that's how that works. I might be wrong with the squeezing mechanism and where it ends up. Like, what happens if the door's open and it pops it up at the top and we end up with a whole bunch of igneous rock? I suppose it would melt. So that, that would kind of be okay. But yeah, I, 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 that's that's what we're going to do. <laughs> but whilst we sit and wait for a few of these things to sort themselves out, like the, now that we've got this water cleared, how are we going to uh, to dump it? Well, of course, we're just going to dump it into this pipeline here. Not, not that we're using enough water that picking this up and dumping it in here won't just result in more water being dumped. It'd also be really good if we could move this liquid vent down a tile. But look at this, I'm not sure how we can do that. <laughs> 
Okay, so from one watery mess and a pile of pipes, let's go over to another watery mess with a pile of pipes. So last time we were setting up a whole bunch of stuff over here, and you know what? I'm going to, whilst we're talking, set up a whole bunch of dig orders so we can start clearing the liquids off of here, dropping them down to this pump, and then we're going to pick them up, sort them out. Uh, the polluted water goes up there, though maybe, you know, given given what I'm just about to do, we'll send it somewhere else and the, the clean water goes into the oil well. But as I was saying, just as we're about to, over the past couple of episodes we have got a whole bunch of tangled pipes just going everywhere and there's there's a whole bunch of doubling up that happens that really doesn't need to happen like look look here look we've got a water sieve up there and another one down there why do they both need to exist and also why are you guys so um so idle uh, sure, surely there's some tidying up you can be doing or indeed let's try and get all of the drecos wrangled up that that might actually be a better way of doing this giving them jobs stuff to do but as i was saying about pipes uh we've got some nice clean water coming this way it's actually coming from this pump at the moment but with what i'm thinking about doing in a bit it's good to think about it coming down this way uh so we could easily hook that water pipe up to this let's also uh cut this one here i'm gonna i'm gonna wait until this stops flowing uh but then also this this is a wastewater pipe if we come up here it comes out of the toilet so we could pass down this way uh and moves on so we could easily easily carry on upwards with this and then jump it over with a liquid bridge uh and then we can remove this water sieve and save ourselves i mean saving the power isn't really that important but it is a thing that we can have access to i would like to do this and liquid pipes we're gonna cut off the polluted water and we're gonna let it all all drain out that that's a thing we need to do there is water being dropped is that because we had uh, an insulated pipe here and it's not over here that that's a shame because i would have preferred to keep it insulated it can get quite warm around the uh, the natural gas generators Okay, there's the outflow sorted. That hopefully this wouldn't be a problem. I've just realised with the way that we've now turned off the carbon skimmers because our pump is picking up all of the gases and sending them... This is not the, this is not the screen I wanted. Picking up all the gases and sending them to where they need to be. Oh, we've got a bit of a problem here that we need to sort out. Um, then we aren't actually using any of the water out of the carbon skimmers, meaning that this whole water inlet is a little bit pointless, but that's okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll make do for now. Maybe we'll, we'll just drop all the water on the floor and get rid of it. Speaking of getting rid of, let, let's get rid of all this. It's time. Let's let's get rid of it. It's it's no longer needed. Uh, also, slowly decommissioning this water tank, so let's get rid of all that. Okay, so we've got the Chris to drop off. I've asked for Drecos to be dropped here. Now all we need to do is actually set it up so the Drecos do get dropped here. We would go around and find them all. Can we get it from here? No, no, it turns out we cannot. I kind of thought that was the case anyway, but we're going to have a look around. There was one in here. Look, there he is. Let's, uh, let's wrangle that one up. Uh, and when they've been wrangled, they should then... Uh, get themselves delivered to this drop off now this isn't a very big this isn't a very big stable so i'm not sure how well it's going to work out but we'll, we'll we'll wait and see we'll wait and see maxwell what are you doing are you coming to shear no you're, you're coming to drop off uh, it'd be nice if you could come and shear number one uh, it is on your list okay Okay, the next thing I've done to the pipeline is to reverse the flow of the pipe so that we are taking almost everything out of this tank. As you can see, we've got quite a bit of steam being added to the system here and the water is coming out nice. Could do with having a little cooling loop going through there. Uh, where is the cooling at the moment? It's over here. It's this constantly moving line. Oh, it'd be really nice to get rid of this one, right? I'm going to ask for some lead cooling pipes to be put in there. I don't think anybody's going to be able to get in without hurting themselves, but, you know, we'll, we'll put them in there for now. And so with the reverse of that flow, I suppose there's only really one other thing I would like to do, and that is completely empty out this tank. Let's do it. I'm going to connect this pump up to this line, and if we uh, sit here and watch it for a little bit, oh, that will be Curie uh, trying to add the... Yeah, maybe not the best place for you to be doing that. Okay, that's 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 a thing. Uh, we just want the materials added, really, more than anything. We'll, we'll see how well they do. Okay, why everybody's valiantly working away on that? Are people going to go sleep in the... I mean, maybe we need another triage cot now. Uh, but whilst they're very valiantly working on that, uh, this has been coming across and pumping a bunch of water into this system. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, and now all the water is coming up and out this way. Of course, we could be filling this tank up quite shortly, uh, so we're going to have to work on that. Maybe what we could do is build an extension over here with a liquid pump like down here somewhere uh, and then 
Some, something like so, and we could build an, a bigger extension later on, but I, th I think that's a good start. As we're about to dry and pump all of this water in there. Oh, I've just noticed the atmospheric suit is is up and working. That must mean people. Yep, yeah, there's a there's a shaved Dracula. Okay, beautiful. That's that's amazing. This got used. Yes. Talking of things working, we now have access to the steam turbine. It's not the steel-based one that I would prefer, but I think we can get away with a copper one if we run a cooling loop through here. Now, I spot a lot of people doing the situation where they will take the 90-degree water, pass it through a radiant pipe in front of the steam turbine, thus keeping it below the 100 degrees that it needs to be to function. We might end up doing that. I could definitely see that being a thing. Uh, we don't have a great deal of copper, but let's... Uh Let's wind that around like that and just make make do with that. Hopefully that'll cool it down. Probably not. We probably need a lot more. Okay, here's a bit of a rudimentary setup. We could probably do with a way of evacuating all the gases out of here. I'm going to set up one of the dreaded liquid locks here. I'm never happy with using one. I feel like it's a bit of an expl exploit of a game mechanic here. But we're going to make use of it here because this... This is very sensitive. If the, if the heat from the magma, 1500 degrees centigrade gets out. I mean, you, you can even ignore what the scale is at the end. When you're up to 1500, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> So hopefully we won't melt any duplicates. We can we can build all this, seal it off. I'm not sure how we're gonna get in to dig all of this out without killing a duplicate. That may may <laughs> maybe we'll spawn one in specifically for it. That that could be a thing. Just send a duplicate up, dig, and be like, thank you for your sacrifice. I've never done that before. <laughs> But whilst we watch Curie and the crew of work under the panic, there is the yellow alert. I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that make my life a little less panic inducing. Yes, scrolling up your screens right now, you will see a list of names, a list of names of people that have taken the time out of their day and the money's out of their wallet to make sure that me and this channel can continue forward into the future. So when I'm facing the daily struggles priority, looking at the full list of everything that I have to do and see my gaming on there, I can take solace in the fact that I am not wasting time, that indeed I am bringing some wonderfulness to people's lives. And I would like to say thank you for giving me that feedback, guys. It really helps so, so much. Okay, that's the main infrastructure done with the tank. I wonder how long it's going to take for this to get dug out if I put it on a high priority over here. Of course, there's a whole bunch of debris in the bottom of the tank that needs to be swept out. Maybe we could do with connecting up the ladders as well. If we grab this and go like so, that, that should hopefully get some sort of connection going on. And people can maybe make their way down here to grab some materials. Or downtime could happen. Yeah, either one. Okay, here we go. I think we got the first excavation coming through. Of course, most of the water is going to just drop away at this point. Filling up a nice little portion that we've got down below, powered by the same thing that powers the liquid shutoff pipe, and the water gets pumped up into this section over here. So we can pretty much just turn that pump off for now. Uh, Curie's managed to separate herself from, from escape. That's solid work. I don't know how she does it. What's she doing now? Just getting some exercise in? I mean, that's, that's great, but not really what you should be doing. Okay, well, who, who... Oh, man. Who can even? Okay, here comes the delivery. Is that going to be good enough? She's also making delivery to... The, I bet someone digs that out before Kiri gets to use it. No, no, okay. We're good. Oh, no, she's going to do it herself. Good, good work. At least she can go ahead and build it immediately afterwards okay great this should all be fine just double checking that this is a locked door that people do not have access to because if this opened i mean it wouldn't be the end of the world we've got a pipe to pick it up and put it all back into the system but it would be kind of awkward and indeed now all the water is being emptied from that system we got quite the backlog up whilst we were waiting uh not many germs in it though so we can go straight into the tank up here hopefully no germs anywhere up here no germs anywhere up here beautiful of course something else we've been working on is a cooling system for all the steam that comes out of here so now that those two liquid bridges have been added if i cut a cut a hole in the pipe here this should now go around and pick up quite a bit of temperature this is coming out at around a hundred odd degrees it's pretty warm it's pretty warm it says it's the uh, venting at 110 but obviously the oxygen around it is not that hot so it's going to spread uh mix if you will and the temperature i mean this first one's going to be coming through at the hottest i should imagine so we'll, we'll see what that comes through at the water on the floor definitely helping 
with the temperature distribution here. Okay, coming out of 30, that's fine. I, I, I think we can deal with 30 degrees. I mean, the water blob here is like 68. That's a, that's a little bit warmer. I wonder if... So we've got a break in the water line now. That's not quite the button I used to I wanted to press. Uh, with this big gap here that uh, is about the same size as this loop here. Uh, I wonder if we could just drop that on like that. And hopefully this bridge will top up as and when it needs. Is that is that how that works? I hope it is. So yeah, it seems to work. We've not frozen up. It's not all locked up because the uh, thermal aqua tuner has turned on or off at any point. So things seem to be doing okay. Uh, we're filling up the water tank, but we're also emptying this water tank. That's causing a little bit of a backup over at the cleaning station, causing this water tank to fill up. But I think we can survive with that. Another thing that I've been doing is one... Uh, well, I've been fighting, fighting with gases in the background. As we've tidied up the pipes uh, in one direction using the liquid pipes here, we've made Made, made a bit more of a mess with the uh, gas pipes here. Oh, wrong button, excuse me. Because uh, now we're going to pump out a whole bunch of gases from here. This place is looking for two things, two things in particular. If we get either oxygen or if we get carbon dioxide, it will shut this pump down. Uh, that means that we've either got food for the slicksters or uh, there's enough gas come down that the... Um, the pressure has gone down low enough that the uh, that the oxygen is in filling. Why, why is this a problem? Let's deconstruct that. Turns out we needed to have made this out of steel. This is filtering water from the bottom here. Uh, what it's actually doing is filtering crude oil so that can come up to the oil refineries that we have up there uh, and then all of the waste water gets sent off into the same waste network that we were just talking about but yes we seem to have a little bit of a shortage of steel i'm not sure what's going on with that i don't even know how much we need uh, for this liquid filter let's turn that up to maximum and have a look together here shall we we need 200 okay let's go back to reverse then over here we're having a little bit of a tight rope of calories nowadays but it's not not anything that we can't get over ourselves just waiting for things to die I, occasionally i see in the that little hatchery here here we've got we've got a dead hatch it's not it's not dead it's all tied up so i, th I think we're just going to attack it for now and let it run like that also for full automation over this side we really need to send let's let, let's do it together right now we need to send franklin over just to do a little bit we're gonna we're gonna push a little bit of pressure on the other colony just just their food stocks is not as great as we would like but she's literally gonna be there for half an afternoon to go around, along and do some very specific jobs because to get a hatchery working fully you need to be able to extract those I didn't really want to turn that one up. I want to extract those eggs out as uh, automatically as possible so that we're not waiting for the duplicates and things just carry on turning over. As you can see over here, we've got cramped, uh, cramped hatches at the moment. That means that their reproduction is not going up as fast as it could. In fact, at cramped is 0%, and that reproduction is our food, so we need to try and keep that as low as possible. Well, that was weird. The, the combat's happened. It's still dead, but it's not dead okay that's interesting not quite what i expected oh i could just see one back there do you see it a little sage hatchling you have to be careful with the sage hatchlings uh because they can eat meat and obviously we we don't we don't want that we don't want that at all we that that meat is for us okay there we go the processing chain has started beautiful wonderful amazing We've been given a bounty of three lava eggs. I'm going to print those off, but we're going to send them as fast as we can through here. Is, is this something that we can actually send through here? Critter egg, there we go. Uh, three lava eggs. Uh, it, can we just turn all these off and send it at the highest possible priority? All right, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see how that runs. No, guys, no, you, you've got to move those eggs. You've got to move those eggs now. Okay, I think that's all three eggs across. Uh, we need to figure out how they're going to get put down over here somewhere oh no things are getting hot over here as well ah this this is another problem but what we need to do the plumbing liquid filter this this has to go down first is that the right way around i think that's the right way around we'll pop it down like that uh we then need to rebuild this this this, this is a must but it's a hundred is it a hundred per is hundred per we only have enough for one so we can do this door and then we'll just leave these here broken no, no one's going out this way 
Okay, Franklin's eating with the old crew, but I really would. Wow, do we want to send her home yet? We could, we could get this steam turbine built. What, what are we missing? It's just a construction errand. Oh yeah, we could definitely get that done in the morning. Overheat temperature a thousand. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's really good. Okay, we're gonna send Franklin back home. Let's go over here. Uh, there we go. Remember to hit the button when we need to in a little bit. Uh, what liquids do we actually have access to here? Things are gonna get very hot here, so I don't think water is gonna be good enough. I think we need to try and get hold of some petroleum, and of course, the only place we have access to petroleum is on this uh, uh, rock over here. Just to give a little bit more context, over here is Reversaline. This is the first uh, first asteroid that we live on. This one over here with the lava up top, and we're trying to build the heat extraction, the geothermal plant over there with the hatchlings, and of course, Pyaxlin over here where we have all the oil. And with the oil comes the petroleum, which we're actually we're starting to run out of a little bit. But it's not but it's not that big a problem. I could actually just run a little bit of crude oil through instead. That that would work incredibly well. Okay, so I've built a horrendous contraption that can move the petroleum and crude oil. As long as we can get someone to come along and do this. Maxwell is immediately on it. That's good. I didn't really need to turn it all the way up, but like, let's make sure it happens, yeah. Okay, I thought it was going to get lost on the way, but no, we seem to be doing okay. Three kilograms of crude oil should be enough to pop into this little hole here, be picked up by the pump. Uh, moves us one little bit. Three kilograms sounds a lot more when it's in someone's inventory. And goes through the teleport over to reversal in here, up here, I think, where we're not ready for it. Okay, beautiful where a small blob will get dropped out from this liquid vent. What's this grub grub doing? That's a terrible idea, mate. How are you cramped when you're wild? What? I don't I don't understand. But now that we've got that blob down, we should be able to pump up the crude oil, which I want to put over here. We'll go uh, liquid crude oil, but more importantly, we'll hit auto bottle, which should then put someone on it. Or, or might take a while to get on it. Okay got a farm and storm affic rock and crude oil i mean it's 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 down there somewhere right i mean yeah <laughs> Okay, so the gas filtering from in here has basically got to wait for this little cleanup down below to uh, to take effect. That's okay, that's no problem. I think we can live with that. The other thing we're going to do, of course, is to filter out the crude oil from this particular line. I put it in upside down. Okay, that's as I was saying, we're going to filter crude oil, and this should now pass on up. Uh, of course, all the uh, all the other liquids need to be passed through this particular line, and I've attached it to the wrong line. Oh my god, look at this. I have ah, I've, I've done a bad, but it's a bad that we can fix relatively easy just by moving... Oh, no, no, not like that, no. By using the, the water pipe like so and attaching it to this outflow. Okay, that's... That's much better. Now it should flow a lot better. Okay, so the water flows. We should have water coming out this way, crude oil coming up here. It's got nowhere to go right now because we're still waiting for more steel to be delivered, but it seems to be going quite well. Okay, that's it locking up. That's fine. That's fine. Processing needs to happen. And and the steel is coming now. I think this one might actually be iron, but the steel is working now. Oh, of course, trying to kill some more hatches. So it's a bit of a shame that it has to interrupt everything, like like everything. But I suppose technically people could be in trouble, so I understand why. I just I just wish it hadn't. All right, can't can't plank. No, no. Who who's going to be doing some more some more refining? No one. Interesting. The steel request says we don't have enough iron, but there's enough iron sat right there. Okay. Okay. The iron got picked up and put in. Is this now? now a go it looks like it might now be a go that's beautiful i could i could do with some steel it's what we really need my plank is loving his life down here working the metal refinery but not a single bit of steel yet we've just been making a lot of iron they keep teasing me oh look the next one up next one up they keep teasing me by delivering the stuff but never really getting around to doing it fabrication supply bore what are you doing you're, you're picking up iron from like miles away fair enough but there are there are some problems rutherford having troubles what why are you having troubles rutherford you're just you're just chilling out with with your critter friends it should be fine 
one of the things that Plank has has quite a high priority in his set is to uh, go around and deal with all the supplies and all the storages. This means that he will pick up the steel and deliver it off to the transportation device over here where it should fall down on Pyaxlin. Oh, we've, we've got some lava eggs we need to deal with. I meant to do that. I didn't do that. Quick, let's build uh, one of these automatic dispensers. I mean, I'd like to make it out of steel if we can. Let's, uh, let's refresh the steel page. It's 400. It's never going to get made. Let's just make it out of this and uh, maybe people will make the delivery just en route. That, that, that would be fun. Kiri complaining about starvation despite the fact that we've got all this food. Okay, it's a bit of a problem. I mean, it's even there on her her list of needs. I think the game's lying to me. No, nope, no one, no one wants to fix this. All right, anyway, because we got the steel now, I can come into the not utilities. I keep looking into utilities when I want refinement. Uh, go to the oil refinery, and we should be able to wait for some more steel. I th I thought this is where we were at anyway, waiting for ten. I mean, here comes some more anyway. Okay, that that's good. That's good. More, more just fell from the sky exactly when we needed it. The universe has worked out in our favor once again. So I'm going to grab one of those and just pop it there. I'd like to put another one on the other side, but we, we need to wait for some more of that shiny blue metal. Okay, we're going to make Franklin work for it. Now, I have gone ahead and put the alarm onto this automatic dispenser. We want everything to be powered by this right now. Where, where, where are you going? Could you not carry enough? Franklin, do you not? Let's, let's come into the skills over here. Franklin, do you not have improved strength? Improve, mm, you've got improved carrying here. That should have been enough. Hmm... No, we're gonna we're gonna run with it now, for now. We're gonna run with it for now. Hopefully, oh, I, I know what it is. You you don't, you just don't have enough iron ore. Well, I I guess we'll just hold tight for a moment. Okay, it was too stressful for Franklin. Maxwell has taken over here, building up this. Uh, whilst that is still up here, uh, this, of course, being an automatic dispenser, I want to come into the critter egg, I want to hit the lava egg, and I want to go, 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 go. And Maxwell should be the only person who can do anything. Wait a minute. I want to I want sweep up. Sweep only, thank you. Sweep only. Because, yes, of course, the ones down, down here, this, this is where I put them, uh, we have got ourselves uh, as swept already. So that should mean it is a nice automatic system I, j I just heard him go past okay he grabbed no, no what, what happened there why why didn't that work why didn't that work okay franklin is on it instead grab three drop drop them why i'm gonna leave them on sweep and i'm gonna leave this going nuts and we're gonna see what happens May maybe okay so one one's managed to make it let's try and get these other two that curie just picked up and put back down again it's the crazy times okay we've just been given a, a starvation for rutherford i don't think that's going to be the biggest problem uh two eggs two eggs okay this should be fine then we then we can actually deconstruct this afterwards now that we've actually got everything put down in the right place okay cool we're gonna we're gonna end up with a lot of critters in here this guy is gonna 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 have a bad time with how many people are going to be in here but we'll we'll sort that out we'll make this other place also habitable what's going on with rutherford over on um reverse lin over here why, why no foods why no foods let's just pick pick a hatchling at random there we go an actual hatch let's uh let, let's set him up for for being eaten tomorrow oh man the gases are nearly pure down here we have been pumping out a fair amount of nice gas this way all the carbon dioxide of course being dumped into our new ranches over here everything else just gets vented out to the wilds of space but i am slowly running out of time here slowly but surely i've got myself a two oil refineries set down and ready to go and i've also now got two atmospheric docks set down and ready to go hopefully franklin should now be able to come around and take part no no she's going around to do something else i don't know what she's doing she's storing materials it's kind of annoying let's let's turn that on and let's just get her coming over here to do this just to make a final demonstration of what we've been working towards we can see that all of the crude oil is being turned over and into petroleum. Petroleum's going into the reservoir, apart from it's not. 
well, we can pretend that I got the piping right and I will fix that in the background. Uh, and then when we fill up with the, the, the petroleum, it will back up into here. The uh, slicks, of course, are having the time of their lives. We do need to get a little bit of construction finished off down here, but that's nothing serious because I can show you over on reverse Lynn that what we actually wanted to do was have the auto sweeper hooked up to a bit of automation which will be able to detect whether we've got the right number of hatches inside here or slicks in the case of a cross in Pyaxlin and dub all the stuff there. But I'm afraid with that I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen. We got a whole a bunch of stuff done today including including clearing out all this water here and getting our steel production up and running again. I'm afraid we are going to have to leave this particular job over here until next time. You know what I'm going to wait for daytime. It took most of the day to get this uh, crude oil in place. We did manage to actually spill a bit over here. So if I sweep that up, it'll probably get placed down again. We've got a vacuum in there, which means that when we start digging through, which I believe someone should be on their way to do. No, no, nobody likes it. You, you know what? Let's, um, which I'm sure somebody is on their way to do. Uh, they should be able to then dig through and hopefully then just leave a beautiful vacuum on the other side of this place here. I'm a little bit worried, as always, that these guys will breathe out and drop some carbon dioxide upside down that of course will give a way for the heat of the lava to conduct through to the areas around it and that's one thing that we really don't want to do and I'm now looking at this this layer of uh of materials here maybe maybe we want to pull, build some insulated materials down this way and that's how we will seal this off next time uh, we are going to go through and we're going to build some doors we're going to build doors sideways slowly but surely creeping our way up towards the lava the last few are going to have to be made out of steel but i will see you then when we're going to do that bye